Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I thank you for uh, tuning in. I uh, hope you enjoy our content today. So, a couple things first. Please hit uh, like and subscribe. It helps us out a whole lot. Uh, if you know of other men that might uh, use this content, might find it useful, uh, please share it as well. Also, uh, if you would use the closed caption feature on our uh, on your device so that you can uh, uh, watch the words as, as I speak to you. Um, cancer uh, uh, has left my voice difficult to understand sometimes. So um, I'll try to enunciate, but uh, closed caption uh, is very useful for me uh, so that you won't uh, miss, miss anything that I talk about today. And uh, yeah, we don't want that to happen, do we? All right. Yes, it is okay to open a door for a woman. It's okay. We're gonna talk about manners today. So a Renaissance man is a well-mannered man. He, um, he's aware of manners that should be used in certain circumstances and you know, he does them. Um, it becomes just part of his normal routine. That's what we want for you. A Renaissance man is a mannered man, well-mannered. So, uh, things like opening the door for a, for a woman uh, or an elderly person or someone carrying packages, it's polite to do that. So, here's the thing though. There are some women who uh, don't appreciate this very much. Uh, and that's too bad. Uh, I see it growing less and less. Um, there was a time when... Uh, Women's liberation was uh, front and center on, uh, on the minds of many people. And it was more problematic then. I, I see it kind of going away from that. And um, you'll see uh, more and more men behave this way, which is, which is good. And you should as well. So the thing is, you want to make sure your, uh, your companion, your uh, uh, wife or girlfriend, uh, understand that you're not opening the door for them because you think they're weak or not capable of opening their own door. Of course they are. But you're doing this because they are precious to you. Use that word. They are precious to you. And just like anything that you hold precious, uh, you think of as being precious, you take good care of it. Um, same thing with a, with a woman, right? If, uh, if that woman is precious to you, then you want to behave that way and treat her as something precious, something worthwhile. Uh, so please, let's try to explain that to them. And usually that does the trick, really. If it doesn't, if you have a woman who just is absolute uh, against this kind of behavior, then it's really a red flag in my opinion, and, and you should probably reconsider your relationship. That's harsh, I know, but uh, it's going to be a, a difficult road for you in life if uh, you are um, uh, married or um, dating a woman like that. So hopefully she'll understand that uh, you don't think she's weak. You don't think she's not capable. Obviously she is. But that it makes you feel good to do these things for her because she means a lot to you. So that, that should work. So try that. Uh, hopefully, uh, that'll work for you. Hopefully, you're with a, 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 a person now that, uh, that enjoys having you treat her that way. So, hopefully, that, that's how it is for you. So, it's really impossible for me to discuss all the ways a man should behave in every circumstance. Uh, what manners to use in every circumstances. You can do the research. Uh, find out, Google it by golly, and find out what are some of the ways that a well-mannered man behaves in certain circumstances. What does a man do when a woman walks into the room or comes up to your table? Uh, if you're walking down the street with a woman, uh, which side uh, is she walking on, your left or your right? These are things that uh, you can find, uh, look them up, and try to add those to your everyday behavior, and it'll get noticed, believe me. So, 
even by other women, uh, women that I've been with. Uh, other women will notice how I behave, how I open the door for her, and they will comment to her when I'm not around that uh, how impressed they are. And that, uh, I think you'll find that as well. Most women will be quite impressed by your behavior if you treat them, uh, again, like they're precious, if, you, if you're polite and well-mannered around them. So uh, believe me, it's, it's, uh, it's worth looking into and it's worth adding to your everyday behavior. So I would recommend that highly. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching. That's all I'm going to uh, cover today. Uh, I'm kind of reviewing some of the main characteristics of your Renaissance man. Uh, and why, again, why are we doing this? As a reminder, why are we doing this? Because a Renaissance man is a well-respected man. If someone refers to you as a Renaissance man, it's a compliment. They're being very complimentary towards you. Uh, how you behave, how you speak, how you carry yourself. Uh, those things are uh, absolutely a, uh, a compliment to you. So that's kind of what we want you to strive for. Um, and you'll stand out, believe me, you'll stand out among other men. Because uh, so few men uh, take the effort to do this. Uh, so you'll stand out among other men, and that's a good thing. You'll stand out in a positive way. So that's what a Renaissance man is. Uh, a pinnacle of, of being a man. And uh, uh, I, I would like that for you as well. Uh, again, it's taken me many years to, to uh, come to this conclusion and, um, and some research, but uh, when a person refers to me, it happens occasionally as a Renaissance man, I know what they mean, I know it's a great compliment, and I appreciate it very much. Sponsors today are still, I would like to think about purchasing one of my books. I have uh, uh, written a couple of science fiction books, science fantasy, if you will. Uh, the first book has been out for a while. It's called The Eyes of the Wizard King, uh, and it's uh, available on Amazon. Uh, I've gotten really good reviews. I think uh, if you like that genre of, uh, of, of uh, a book, then you'll, uh, you'll like it very much, I think. Uh, think Lord of the Rings, if you would. It's that, not, not that good, but it's, it's pretty good. I, hopefully you'll like it. Uh, I just published my second book. It's a follow-up to the first book, Eyes of the Wizard King, book two, A Balance of All Things. That's also available on Amazon. This is brand new. Uh, it will soon be uh, available on, uh, audio, as an audio book as well, uh, as an electronic book. But these are both available on Amazon right now. So if you would, it helps me out a lot. It helps out the channel, uh, purchasing the book. And uh, they're pretty expensive, but uh, I put a lot of effort into it. I think you'll like it if you like that genre of, uh, of uh, reading. So please uh, uh, give kids out and give that some thought for us. And um, so hit the bell icon, right? I don't uh, produce uh, these videos on a regular basis. It's kind of hit and miss for me because of my schedule, my life. I'm a busy guy, but I, uh, I'm always thinking about what the next video should be, and I, uh, I, uh, I will film it as quickly as I can, but it's, uh, you know, around every two weeks is uh, the way it looks, uh, is uh, when I'll, I'll be able to get a video up for you. So I'll see you again in about two weeks. Thank you for tuning in. God bless.